Sorry guys, I haven't been uploading in a long, long time, but now I am. We are gonna start uploading every single fucking day. Every single day, like Gary Vee. I watched a ton of Gary Vee motivational videos, so I'm gonna start uploading every single day. Anyway, back to this video. This video is gonna be about in place link list reversal. So we're reversing a link list. So how does a reversing a link list work? Very, very easy. Let's look at this diagram that is just gonna be put on repeat until, until I stop it. Essentially we have is we have a previous node that points to null currently, right? It's just a null, right? And then we have our current node that is gonna go through the whole link list. As we're going through the whole link list, we're gonna set our currents next to point to the previous node. And then we're gonna keep going down the link list. What's gonna happen is that every time we go down the link list, uh, the currents next is gonna point to the previous node, we're reversing the link list, right? The values in the link list are gonna get pointed to the whatever was previously. So in the end, all we have to do is set our her head node, our new head node equal to the, to the previous node in the end, and that will be our answer, okay? So this is actually very, very easy. It's uh, not very difficult to understand. If you look at the diagram, we're just gonna have our pre previous node and a current node, and as we're going down the link list, where currents next is gonna point to the previous, and we're gonna start updating the nodes as we're going down the link list. So then uh, when we go to the next iteration, previous is now gonna equal the current, and current is gonna go to the currents next, and so on and so forth until we go down the link list. Okay, so this is what the code looks like in C++. So here we have is a node called current, we point it to the head, and the previous is currently set to null. And here what they have is they have the, the next element after current, uh, they have that as a dummy node, because in place when we're, when we're going down the list, we have to like, we need to go to the next node, right? And then uh, as we're setting our values, we need a dummy node to store what's next. So here's what we're doing. Okay, while the current is not equal to null, right? We're gonna go down the list. All right, we're gonna go down the list, right? We set our current equal to head in the beginning, right? And now we're gonna go down the list, okay? So now we're gonna use our dummy node next, and that's gonna point to the currents next, right? That's gonna point to the currents next. And now what we're doing is we're gonna reverse the current nose pointer. So currents next is gonna to point to the previous, and then now what we're gonna do uh, after we set currents next point to previous, um, previous is gonna equal the current, and currents is gonna to equal to the next. Like uh, like I said before, next is just a uh, currents next node, in here in the in the middle here, and uh, that's what it is in order to go down the link list, right? We're just using that to make sure we have the next node and that we're not gonna have any confusion. After we reroute all the links going down the link list, previous is gonna be all the way at the end, right? Previous is gonna be at the end, and uh, because we are reversing the link list, right? That end value of our previous is gonna be our new head. So what we're doing is our, we're setting our head to now equal to the last value of previous as we're going down the link list, because in the end, previous is gonna equal to the last value of the link list. So that's what we do here, okay? So our head, our new head is gonna point to previous because while we're going down the while loop, previous is gonna in the end, it's gonna be in the end, and that's gonna be our new starting value of our head. Okay, so now we're gonna go over another problem, okay? So this time reverse link list two, which is basically reversing a sublist. So given the head of a link list, we are now given two positions, left and right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse all the values in the positions between left and right inclusive, okay? The positions are indexed by one, by the way. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, right? If left and right are positions two and four, all the values between two and four, including them, get reversed. So here, originally it was two, three, and four. Now they're reversed. Now become they become four, three, and two. So all the values between two and four in positions two and four are now reversed to become four, three, and two. And the rest of the list stays the same. So one stays the same and five stays the same between the original. So as you can see here, uh, nothing else changed besides the values of between two and four, the positions from left to right. Okay, so how do you do this problem? So essentially what we need to do is we need to isolate the, two, the parts that we are, we're gonna reverse. And then once we isolate those parts and reverse it, we could reattach the rest of the nodes in the link list together and then we could return it, right? So if this is our positions of start is here and end is here, right, between two and four, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain four pointers. So here is what we're gonna do, so we have in the solution here, we have revs, which is gonna be um, the location of where we're reversing. So here, it's gonna be revs, this is gonna be revs, 
and um, we're gonna have Rev's end. So that's Rev's end is gonna be here. Okay, it's gonna be pointers pointing to where start and end are at. Okay, so bear with me. And then we're gonna have other two pointers that are gonna be um, Rev's previous right here. Rev's previous. And then we're also gonna have um, revs and next. So revs and next. Okay, revs and next is gonna be uh, gonna be the node right after revs end, and revs previous is gonna be the node before revs. Okay. So as you can see here, um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate these nodes, and we're gonna call exactly our reverse function, reverse this, and then we're gonna set our reverse previous is gonna point to this new one, and then we're gonna Revs and next is gonna re reattach to whatever value is here. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially what we're doing. So basically, if you were to do all this stuff and then you call reverse on your on revs here, it'll reverse this link list using a reverse function. So it's gonna be reverse to four, point to three, point to two, and then then we could just reattach our revs previous to these these new nodes after calling the reverse function and get rid of this. And then we would have our reverse values of one, four, three, two, and five. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially what we're gonna try to do. So how do we do that? How do we do that? Um, so here, I'll just show you guys the code how this works. So here, reverse revs uh, is gonna point to null currently, and revs previous is gonna be point to null. Revs end is gonna point to null, and revs end next is gonna point to null. So what we need to do first is we need to get to the positions of where start and end is. So where start and end is. So we're given the start and end positions of what we're trying to reverse. Um, we need to get to these positions and then we could set our pointers to the right spot, right? These pointers to the right spot. So this is very easy. Um, we start I equal to one because we're indexing from one and we're gonna loop to the end, okay? And how do we do that? We set a current node is gonna point to head and then while current is not equal to null and I is less than or equal to end, so n is going to be our uh, end index. So here in this uh, in this solution here, end is n and start is m. Okay. So here I don't know why they did these terrible variable names, but the starting position is going to equal to the index m, and the ending position is equal to the index n. Okay. So while the current is not equal to null and i is less than or equal to end. So i is less than or equal to this last uh, looping up to here, up to end, right? The value of end. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few cases. So if i is less than the the start, which is m, if i is less than m, revs previous is gonna equal to the current. So revs previous is gonna equal to current. So that's what what that's what it's doing. Basically, uh, revs previous is gonna keep updating to the current node. And uh, while it's less than the less than m, okay, less than n. Revs previous is going to equal to the current node. And basically, this current is going to keep going down to this link list. So basically, we have like a current node, and it's going to keep going down. We're going to loop to the down to the end of the link list. So yeah, if i is less than m, revs previous is going to equal to the current. So what that does is that that just makes sure that this revs previous here is going to be right before revs. Okay, right before our m index. So that's what it's gonna be there for. Um, if i is equal to m, that means we have to set our revs pointer here, our revs pointer node to equal to the current node, the current node that we're looping down from, okay? And if i is equal to n, right? If i is equal to n, so let's say we reach to this end index n, um, we need to set revs n to equal to that. So yeah, uh, revs n equals the current, and revs n next is going to equal to currents next. So revs n next, so this revs n next is going to equal to currents next. So we just set the right pointers to the right values before it. All right, otherwise, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going to the next value until we loop to the end of the link list. So this current is going to keep going to the next value until we loop to the end of the link list, and we're going to increment our i. Okay? Now, when we get to here, um, what we're going to do here, re let's say we already set all our pointers up properly here, right? Um, we need to isolate this location here that we're going to reverse. So what they do here is they set um, 
rev n next point to null. So what that does is that's going to break this pointer, and this is going to point to null. Okay, and once they do that, uh, we're, we're going to call uh, reverse on revs. So reverse revs here points to this part of the starting value that we're reversing, and if we call reverse on this node, it's going to re uh, return our a new function of four, three, two new values of that essentially is that um, rev end is going to point to this. So now our rev end here, revs end, uh, yeah, revs end is going to now point to that. So this revs end is going to point to this, the new value that was returned from here. So this is now revs end. Okay, so we just reversed this already. Okay, um, if revs previous is not null, then we're going to set revs previous next to point to rev end. So rev end is the new list of reverse values. This revs previous is now going to point to, it's next is going to point to revs end. So we're going to have this one is next is going to point to four, three, two, right? So that's going to fix this part. And then revs next is going to point to revs end next. So revs end uh, next, revs end, revs next. Okay, so revs, after it's all been reversed, right? Um, revs points to this and the revs points to this right after it was all reversed right so revs end points to here and revs points to here so now revs next here see revs next is going to point to revs end next so this is going to point to there okay so this is going to point to there so then now in the end we have one four three two five so a new low is going to be one four three two and five that's what our new link list would be. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this explanation. Um, oh yeah, and then we have this corner case. If the starting and ending are the same positions, then we do nothing, right? Because if we're trying to reverse values between three to three, well, you you're not really reversing anything. So all you do is just return head. So that's the that's the starting corner case. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this part of the solution, and I hope I explained it properly. And we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go over another problem. Given ahead of a linked list, rotate the list by k spaces. So what does that mean? If I have one, two, three, four, five in my linked list, the one, the starting values are gonna go to the right by one. So this one goes to the next one. This two gets rotated right by one. It goes here. The three goes to the right by one. It goes here now. And the four original is here. It's gonna go to the right by one and go to the last value. The last value of five now gets pushed all the way back to the front the first value, so now we have five, one, two, three, four. And that's one rotation. Now, they want to rotate it k times, so k, since in this case k is equal to two, um, we're gonna rotate it again. So this four is gonna now go to the back to the front, this five goes to the, to the right by one, this one goes right, two goes right by one, three goes right by one. So now we have um, four, five, one, two, three, and k is equal to two, so k is moved right by two places, so that's the answer. So yeah. That's the gist of this problem, and now we're gonna go over the solution. Okay, so how do you do this problem? It's not that difficult. Um, so basically, we're just gonna keep going down, and then we're gonna create like a circular link list by reconnecting it to the front. And then we need to go back to the loop, go back, and then we need to split it at the new head of where it's gonna be at, and get the new tail. So that's what this uh, diagram shows. So here it's going here, and it's gonna go down all to the end, and it's gonna like loop it back, close the ring, and then it's gonna go to the the new head, in this case would be four, and it's gonna like split the end at four and set it to null and then have a new head. So the code for that, um, to get to the new head, they use this equation, uh, n minus k mod by n. Uh, it's kind of strange how they do this this way, but it is what it is. So yeah, here we have, uh, here, the, the two cases where uh, um, if the head's null, we just return null, that's just special cases. If head is equal to, head's next is equal to null, just return the head, right? Because it just that's just one node. So here, um, old tail is gonna equal to head. And here, they're, what they're gonna do is they set like uh, the number of nodes in the list to find it. So they set n is equal to one. And then they check while old tail's next is not equal to null, n plus plus, and they just keep going next an old tail. And then in the end, um, they set 
O tails next to point ahead. So at this point in the end of this, what it's doing is that it's just closing the loop. So it goes through, finds, calculates the number of nodes there are, and then it closes the loop to set it back to the head. And then now they're gonna restart looping it through. The new tail is gonna equal to head. And they use this math equation. If you, uh, if you just try multiple cases and see when you could calculate when the next, for the new tail where it's gonna end at, it's this equation n minus k mod by n minus one. So that's what they did here. And then they just said new tail is equal to new tails next. And after that, they point the, the right spot for the new head is gonna equal to new tails next. And then they break the tail, so new tails next is gonna equal to null. And then they return the new head. So yeah, essentially close the loop, go use the math equation to find where it's gonna end at. So here it ends, it ends at three. Uh, they're gonna set the new tails next to so become null and then return the new head to where it is. Yeah, so the new head is equal to new tails next. Set new, new tails next to equal null and then return new head. So yeah, that's the gist of this code. Uh, you could write this in C++ also. But yeah, it's not really similar to, you know, like um, reversing a linked list, but it's kind of sort of similar. Yeah, it's not exactly similar, but it's very sort of similar. All right, guys, the next problem that we're going to go over, actually final problem we're going to go over, is reverse nodes and K groups. So this time we're given the a linked list, and what we're going to do is we're going to reverse K nodes at a time. And uh, if we reach a part where it's not a multiple of K, then we just leave it remain as it is. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, and K is equal to two. So every two nodes, we're gonna reverse it. So you see this one, two, this one, two becomes two, one. It's reversed, right? So that's the first two. And the next two is three, four, and then reverses to become four, three. So that's reversed also. And the five, uh, at this point, the next two, there is no next two, so then we just leave it as it is and we leave five there by itself. In this case, in the next example, one, two, three, four, five, k is equal to three. We cut uh, every three, we're gonna reverse every three. So in this case, we have one, two, three, and this is gonna get reversed because there's three nodes and then it becomes three, two, one, okay? And then four or five, afterwards, there's no third value, so it's not a multiple of three. So we just leave it as it is and leave it four, five. Okay, so that's the gist of this problem and let's go over the solution now. So the solution of this problem is it's also assuming we have the reverse function as before. Um, we still need the four pointers now. Head, which is pointing to the original head of the next set of K nodes. Reverse head, which is basically the tail of the original set of K nodes. K tail is the tail of the previous set of K nodes after reversal. So this is gonna point to the previous set of K nodes. Um, new head is a new head of the final list that we return as the output. So it's the K node from the beginning of the list. Okay, so um, basically the same algorithm remains as before. Um, the only difference is that we count K nodes and if we're able to at least get K nodes to reverse them and get our new reverse head and then um, we need to see if the K tail is set or not. So if if it's not set, then uh, we're gonna set it to, if it is set, then we need to attach the next value, the K tails next to point to the reverse head and update the K tail to point to the tail of the reversed set of K nodes. And then uh, our K tail is gonna equal to our head. So we're gonna keep doing this until we reach the end of the list. Okay, so let's say we have this, one, two, three, four, five, and K is equal to two. We first find the two nodes that we need to reverse. And since we have at least these two nodes, we're gonna reverse them. So we reverse them. And now we have a uh, reverse head is gonna equal to this. And then K tail is equal to this. And then head is equal to this. The K tail wasn't set. Now, it wasn't set before. Now it points to the tail of the reverse set of K nodes. So it's gonna equal to the tail of reverse set of K nodes. So that uh, the reverse link severs a connection, yeah. So the reversal function severs a connection between the rest of the list. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set our new head. We're gonna find two values of the nodes and then we're going to uh, reverse these two next two values. 
and then it reverses it. So now we're going to have reverse head and regular head, right? Now they're reversed. And then at this point, we need to connect K tail to point to next point to reverse head. So we connect these nodes together. And this last value is also uh, in our reverse function, it gets severed. So we need to reattach those values. The last part also. So yeah. And here's the code. It's uh, not that difficult. Um, so here we originally have the same uh, reverse link list. Um, it's kind of similar to what we had before. Their version is that they start K is greater than zero and then do their thing here. Um, they're decrementing the number of nodes reversed. Well, before we, in our code, we were like incrementing. But anyway, that's the reverse link list. So here, so this was reversed, uh, the reverse link list of K. So here, um, here reverse group. So this is the gist of what our code does. Um, so we have a pointer point to head, k tail is null. The new head is equal to null. And we're gonna keep going as long as there's nodes in the list. So we have a count variable. We're gonna start counting from the head. Um, yeah, so while we're counting the variable until we reach k, we're gonna get our, um, our nodes, right? So the pointer is gonna keep going next until we reach uh, k nodes. So now we reach K, we're gonna reverse the K nodes by passing it into a reverse function. If the new head is ahead of the final list, um, our new head is gonna to equal to reverse head. So our new head here, so if our new head is equal to the final list, our new head is equal to reverse head. So reverse head is uh, pointing to this now, right? And then our new head is gonna to equal to reverse head, right? So that's if uh, it's not equal to null. So if new head is new head is ahead of the final list, so yeah, we just have new head is equal to reverse head. Um, if tail is the the tail of the previous block of reverse k nodes, we need to set the k tail is next equal to reverse head. So this is checking if uh, there's nothing left at the end. So if there's nothing left at the end, um, we set our k tails next is going to point to reverse head, right? Point to reverse head. So then we recombined every every two times we split these link lists, we're gonna reconnect them together. So K tails next is gonna point to reverse head. So that's that. Um, yeah, so if it's not equal to null, K tails next points reverse head. And then K tail is gonna equal to head. So K tail is gonna equal to head. So K tail is gonna point to uh, head. So this is gonna go to the next K values at the end. So it goes to here, right? It goes to head. So this K tail then becomes head. So it goes up to here. And uh, head is going to equal to pointer. So head is going to equal to pointer. So pointer is um, so pointer is what we were traversing through, right? So yeah, pointer is going to equal to uh, pointer is equal to, head is going to equal to pointer. Okay, so then our new head gets put at what we're traversing through. So yeah, um, yeah. So that's that. And then if we reach the end of the portion um the k tails next is going to equal to head so k tails next is going to equal to head so this uh so so because when we reverse things the head ends up at at the end right so what they're saying is k tails next is going to point to like heads in order to recombine the last part of uh the rest of the link list so yeah that's this part we reach the final unreversed uh unreversed portion Okay, uh, then uh, then um, if new t the new head is equal to null, we're gonna return the head. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna return new head. So this is just checking if in the end, if a new head is equal to null. So if we reach like a null value here, if this was like originally empty, then we're just gonna return the head here um, at the last value. Otherwise, we're just going to return new head, which is our new, new uh, length list pointer. So we're connecting it to. So yeah, that's the gist of this this code. This is this part is a little a uh, little more bit more confusing, but essentially what we're doing we're doing is we're going to go through every k values and then we're going to reorder them using the reverse method, and then after we reverse it, um, we just go to the next one and then reorder it again, redo all the links again, and so on and so forth until we get to the end. So yeah, but yeah. 
that's the total gist of this problem. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.